Today I'm going to be going over how to paint Union troops. If you haven't already, please subscribe and like just to help me with the algorithm. The techniques that I'll show today are equally useful for painting cavalry, artillery, commanders or the infantry. It really just depends which ones you want to paint first, but it's pretty easy. I find that black for Union is best to start with, and doing one to two light coats is better than one thick heavy coat. Next we're going to block in each of the main colours. Due to the quite dark black wash we're going to use later, at these earlier stages I would personally recommend using lighter colours than you ordinarily would. I mix the black, matte medium and airbrush medium together and it produces a really nice thick wash that really produces a nice finish. At this stage just go back across the miniatures and pick out any detail and always remember that these are 10 to 12 mil, so from a few feet away you're not really going to notice so just pick out what's necessary. I personally like a slightly rougher uh, type of flock for my miniatures because it just in my opinion, grassland isn't always uniform, it's always a bit rough. And that's my quick and easy method to get the troops table ready fast. When I do my painting I usually do an entire sprue, um, and so that usually takes me about an hour and a half, and with that you end up with five infantry bases, one artillery and one commander. Thanks again for watching, and please hit the like and subscribe buttons so that you'll be notified next time I upload a video. At this point I would recommend going over and watching my How to Paint Confederates video, as that one actually goes into the process a little bit more in detail.